Hello, and welcome to Magnolia Academy. In this video, we'll be discussing site definitions. First off, an overview. For Community Edition users, keep in mind that you're restricted to a single site with a single site definition. If you need to run multiple sites with Magnolia, then you will need to have a separate instance for each site. For Enterprise Edition customers, you can have multiple sites and multiple site definitions all within a single instance of Magnolia. A site definition contains configuration values that will be applied to a site in the website workspace. Site definition configuration can be accessed in one of two places. Configuration, Modules, Multi-Site, Config, Sites, or you can use the shortcut SDK Site Definitions. By convention, the site definition name should match the root node of the website. If I look in my, my Pages app, I will see that I currently have two sites. Demo Project and Demo Features. In my site definitions, I have two definitions that match those names. Demo Project, Demo Features. Demo Project DE is just an extension of demo project where the domain and IATNIN's settings have been overridden. Default is a special site definition used by the system as a fallback. It applies to every site that has no specific site definition. This means that the default site definition is not mapped to any particular site in the website workspace. Also, it does not have a domain. As a side note, the default site definition should not be renamed or deleted under any circumstances. So for Community Edition users, the name of the site definition will probably not match the root node of your website since it is unlikely that you will name the root node default. Next, let's take a look at the elements of a site definition. First, we have the Templates node. This has all the configurations related to templating. It has two subnodes, Prototype and Availability. Prototype is the super configuration of all page template definitions. Anything defined here will apply to all pages on render. Availability. This is where you control the page templates that are available for your website. Next is the theme. This is where you define the theme that will be used by the website. The theme provides all design related entities such as CSS and JavaScript. Then we have variations. This is where you define site definition variations used for certain channels. An example of a variation for the smartphone channel. Next, the IATN settings. This is the internationalization configuration. Here you will define which languages you will serve for the site. This is used in the case where you have the same site structure with multiple languages. In specific site definitions, we have a mappings node as well. The mapping nodes define the site's definition should apply to. It is possible to map a site definition to more than one site. Domains. One possible selector for serving from this site definition. It is possible to map multiple domains names to the same site. 